Greetings for the day. Welcome to another session of Cyber Law and Ethics. My name is Muhammad Rahmat Ali. In today's session, we're going to start our second unit. We're going to see the introductory part of our second unit. But before jumping into today's topic, let me remind what we have studied in the previous session. In the previous session, we studied with reference to the first unit, the things related to the law enforcement, the things related to cyber, the basics of cyber security, and with reference to the law and the major threats with reference to cyber security and cyberspace. In today's session, we are going to see about the cyberspace and the law and cyber forensics. This is very important. <coughs> with reference to your uh, cyber security now what is this for in cyber forensics cyber forensic means analyzing and detailing of things on internet is called as cyber forensics another name for cyber forensics given is digital forensics digital forensics is another name given to cyber forensics now in this particular chapter we are going to see <coughs> about the cyber security regulations what are the different regulations with reference to cyber security in the sense who can uh, uh, what you call as access the internet what are the different laws to uh, interact with the internet what are the different mechanisms by which uh, you will be given access to any of the particular things and what are the privileges access related to that particular user for that particular system now apart from that we are going to see about the roles of international law the role of international in the sense how international law makes uh, a very prominent role with reference to cyber forensics or with reference cyber space and with reference to the cyber law <coughs> sorry now with reference to this uh, uh, understand this in a uh, in a better way this way like for an example you are three friends for an example you all are three friends and you are uh, you always sit chat with one another like you know you tease one another and you and you uh, pass comments on one another now one fine day one fourth person comes and he tries to behave the same way like you three all people behaves like the four person try to behave the same way like you all three people behave if at all he does something good also you may not feel good you may not feel good right? because you three are the best of best of the friends the fourth person who has come he, he is just your new friend he is just a new friend now whatever that new friend does whatever that particular new friend does it is been considered as a threat to for all of you three it is been considered as a threat for all of the three and also <clears throat> among these three people if it was something misunderstanding happens also it has been taken as a small silly joke why why because you three understand yourself very well you three understand you, you yourself very well but with reference to that fourth person that fourth person is a new person for all of you so whatever the thing that he does will be a threat for you in the same way in the same way the role of international law applies the same because there is no particular law with reference to the international cyber security because there is, there is an person who is who is from what you call as india and he has done something wrong in any of the other countries like uh, like our neighboring country so the chances of that person getting caught is very high and the demand of what you call as uh, the demand for the arrest of that particular person will be very high whereas when you consider with reference to other countries which has a good relation with india if at all something happens the law or the persons what we call as arrest will not be uh, like it, it will not be that much uh, pressurized one okay so this is how the uh, what we call as the cyber law and the cyber space work with reference to different things now with reference to cyber forensics with reference to cyber forensics with reference to cyber forensics it will be investigative process it will be an investigative process like that will be seen in the coming slides now as of now <coughs> with reference to the international law this is the case the case is such that 
the international law with reference to cyberspace and cyber law is totally dependent on the relation of the country with one another the more the good relation the more uh, uh, convenient it will be for one one country to another country it is not like we can do the things but still like there are, like you know there will be a cyber cell <coughs> there will be a cyber cell for a, for every of the country and every of the cyber uh, uh, cell of the country will be monitoring everything like if at all if you have been a regular on any of the social media there you have been seeing like your message are <coughs> <coughs> sorry your messages are been monitored or uh, your uh, messages are been checked by the government or the by the third party you will be getting three ticks two ticks something like this so this this is a thing that is been done though it is there or not just it's a secondary thing but the messages that you are writing on internet i is been monitored the messages that you are writing and uh, the messages that you are typing in the social media is been monitored and also just to let you know uh, the cyber cell will monitor some of the keywords okay when you are whenever you are typing that particular keywords you will be monitored for the next 40 days for the next 40 days you will be monitored by the cyber team and if at all your name comes uh, regularly then you will be monitored for a continuous process of one and a half year one year for your uh, <coughs> what do you call as activities that in that you are doing okay now moving forward what it says the indian cyber space with reference to the indian cyber space you can say we are developing in this particular area like we are not that developed with reference to the cyber space in india but we are still trying to what do you call as develop ourselves in india now there are many of the courses that are being introduced with reference to cyber security cyber law cyber space digital forensics cyber security at different levels different courses are being introduced now from if at all if you see from the past 3 or 4 years this uh, particular subject called as cyber security is capturing the market it is capturing the market and it is having a major share most of the people now are getting into this particular subject to gain their career in this particular thing and it is also attracting many of the people now see in the indian cyber space there are a lot of potential people there are a lot of potential people who have the capacity of doing things <coughs> but still but still they are not getting a chance in india so what they are doing they are trying their best over here they are getting certificates and they are serving for other countries they are serving for other countries now the same thing the indian government want to make it in india because many of the indian talents is going uh, outside so for this particular thing the indian cyber space is trying its level best to give the courses in the universities in the form of diplomas in the form of graduation and post graduations and in different forms so that the enthusiasm within the students and within the uh, what do you call as research scholars and the stu- like you know people who are studying gets more in in particular with reference to cyber security and more of the person can what do you call as uh, study this particular thing Now moving forward then with reference to the national security cyber security policy in this we'll be studying about the policy that is been making or taken with reference to indian cyber security now with reference to the cyber forensics or what you can say the introduction or historical background of cyber forensics or you can say digital forensics <coughs> cyber forensics and digital forensics are one and the same only there is no major difference but digital forensic is been referred as a general things Whereas cyber forensic is specifically being used for uh, the, <coughs> you, like you can say, it is in particular used with reference to the network or internet. For that particular purpose, uh, cyber forensic is being used. Digital forensic is a general term that is being used for every other uh, things that is being uh, around us. For example, my mo- mobile is being hacked, so it is being considered as a digital, f- like you know. Uh, hacked or it is been compromised it is been considered as uh, a digital evidence or a digital thing if at all something is uh, i'm doing investigation on that then it is a digital forensics it is a digital forensics if at all the same thing my laptop which is been connected to an internet a group of internet 
or a group of network if at all that is been hacked or that is been traced then that particular thing is called as cyber forensic why because it is been uh, connected to the network or internet so this is the major difference between the cyber forensic and digital forensics now the need of computer forensics <coughs> there is a major need in <coughs> digital forensics or cyber forensics the reason is that uh, the number of attacks that was been done in the last three or four years is equal to the number of attacks been done in the last one year so this is how the attacks on different systems is been in getting increased is been getting increased if at all if you have seen now in the police stations also there is a separate unit with reference to the cyber security unit with the reference to the cyber security team there is another uh, department of police who are working on this particular thing why it is been formed the reason why this is been formed is to investigate thoroughly why because now the people are not getting into the, like not getting into the houses or breaking into the houses and getting the money what they are doing now they are directly getting the gp number or any of uh, the q pay or any of the qr code and they are uh, new like you know they are uh, what do you call as they are they are cheating the people they are cheating the like if at all if you are seen with reference to olx fraud or with reference to the military army national indian army fraud or different fraud that was been done so with reference to this a, a digital cyber forensic team is to be there who can <coughs> investigate into this particular thing and can give a proper result with reference to this particular thing now the the need of computer forensic is to investigate and uh, to get a result and present it in the court and the court should accept that particular evidence for that particular purpose uh, computer forensics or digital forensic is been introduced now the main purpose of uh, digital forensic is to investigate the thing and present it in the code which is admissible in the court this is a major thing that you should remember with reference to forensics uh, because <coughs> but if you are investigating anything that should be admissible in the court if at all the court is not accepting that particular thing that is not been considered as an evidence that particular thing is not been considered as an evidence now see the need of the computer forensics is to first one is to evaluate analyze summarize and present it collect and present it in the forms that the court will accept that particular evidence the court will accept that particular evidence that is what we call as computer forensics now with reference to the cyber forensics and digital evidence now what do you mean by cyber forensics cyber forensics like i have told you is an investigation that is been done on networks that is been done on network whereas digital evidence is any of the format of evidence that is been available at local level network level or any of the level <coughs> that is what we call as digital evidence for an example <coughs> you made a call to some of the person and that person did not receive the five calls and sixth call he has taken up for you so you will you will be created with a six logs you will be created with six logs stating that five logs indicates that the call was not been taken six log will indicate that you spoke for this particular time so that is what we call as a digital evidence in computer terminology any of the things like any of the thing which is been there and it, is, it can be used to help in investigation that becomes an digital evidence that particular things becomes digital evidence now the next point is with the reference to forensic analysis of email and this is very important with reference to the modern terminology with reference to the modern term with reference to the modern thing that is been done so how this is been done this is been done with reference to the email receiving eh. <coughs> sorry now what do you mean by this this means uh whenever you are getting an email if at all if you are not opening that particular email for a long time next time whenever you are receiving that email from that particular party that email will be directly sent to spam or there will be some of the emails that will directly be coming to spam 
email folder why why because those emails can be a threat mails either it is been <coughs> decided by the mail server or is been decided by you you try it by yourself if at all if you are not opening any of the email for a very long time like if at all if you are getting an email from xyz company finance company and you are directly deleting it or if at all if you are not opening and keep, keep on keeping in your e email box or inbox that particular email from the next day will be coming directly onto your spam email not your into your inbox now this is how it is been segregated now with reference to the what we call as uh, forensic analysis of email that's a different part that's a different part with reference to this thing so we will be seeing how we, we can do that and how the things now with reference to the digital forensic life cycle this is very 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 important with reference to the whole of this this plays a very prominent role this plays a very prominent role in this like what are the different stages and uh, like you know the first one is analysis investigation preservation representation and then different steps with reference to this digital forensic life cycle now the next one is forensic investigations now how we will be doing investigations what are the different mechanisms by which we will be using the different investigation with reference to the forensics whether it is online offline whether it is hardware based software based whether it is individual whether it is it is a group of networks how like you know whether we will be capturing the network whether it will be open source uh, investigation there are different mechanisms by which this particular thing can be done now the next topic is with reference to the challenges in computer forensics what are the different challenges that we face in this particular thing either uh, that particular system is been physically been broken so that no evidence can be get we can get it or that particular system is been uh, what we call as flashed or cut through in such a way that no other system can no other person can get into that particular thing for the investigation part there are many of the different things that can be done so what are the different challenges in computer forensic that we are going to see in this particular topic the last one is with the reference to the special techniques for forensic auditing the different auditing techniques that we are going to do or we will be going to evaluate and we are going to analyze this particular thing now i hope you got a little bit idea with reference to what cyberspace uh, and cyber law with reference to cyber forensic is all about we will continue this particular subject in a detailed way in the next class this class was just an introduction to second unit i hope you understood something from today's session if at all if you have any doubt please ping me at ramadan_alitu@radio.com and uh, if at all if you have any doubt we can have a question and a session at any of the common time decided between us uh, until then take care and sorry if my health is not good so the class got disturbed two or three times I'm extremely sorry for that and also uh, i'll give the notes for the first few minutes and presentation and everything uh, as soon as possible so see you in the next session see you in the next class until then take care bye bye